Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the EaseUS to do backup program. So this is a free application you could use to do uh, backups of your computer to, you know, uh, like an external hard drive or to even to the cloud or a network attached storage if you have such a thing. So there's the free version and the pay for version. So the pay for version obviously has more features and you'll kind of see which features you can't use as we go along here. So once you uh, install it and open it up here, you'll be prompted to do a backup. So I have one that I did here already for the desktop, so I'm going to add a new backup. So select the backup contents. So you could do a file folder and so on. You could do your whole disk or the whole operating system or email, which is locked because it's not available in this version. So I might do a video on the OS backup just to see how that works later on, or if you want to do the whole disk but you probably don't want to do that if it's your C drive because you don't want to necessarily back up Windows and your programs because you'll have to reinstall them anyways if you need to uh, recover something. So we're going to do File. So we're going to browse, just like you would anything else, browse to a location. I'm going to do this Pix folder here. Click OK. So now it wants to, to know where I want to back it up to. So it found this uh, secondary hard drive and made a folder called My Backups when I first configured it here. You could change that. So if you click on the destination, you can pick local drive, the EasyOS cloud, which you need an account for, NAS if you have one, then there's a security zone feature, which uh, gives you like a secure backup where it'll keep it away from uh, malware and that kind of thing, if you wanted to create that. But we're just going to do local drive. And so now it automatically goes to that My Backups folder that I made on the secondary E drive. So we'll click OK. Now we just click on Backup Now to start. Then you also have some options here, what to do after the backup completes. You know, do nothing as the default. You can have a computer go to sleep or shut it down. Okay, so once it backs up, it'll do a little pop-up here asking you if you want to schedule it, but we're going to do that later. And so if I go to my, my backups folder, now I have this PIX folder here that has the backup in it, so it puts it as like an image, a single file image for the backup. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to schedule it. You just click on the one you want, click on no schedule. First of all, if you want to see the backup log, you could do that to see if there's any errors and that kind of thing. So we're going to click on this to schedule it. So you could do one time daily, weekly, monthly. Then there's some other more advanced options for the pay for versions. You, know, you could pick your days if you want to do a full backup every so often. Uh, the backup method you want to use full, incremental, or differential. And then you have some backup options here as well for performance, network speed, backup splitting, compression. So if you want to you know, split the files as you back them up there if they're big files. Uh, set up encryption to uh, kind of keep things secure. You know, custom commands. Off-site copy, like the FTP address, or FTP site, I should say. You know, as you can see, it has a lock on it, so you can't do that on this version. And you got your file settings for security and so on. Disk settings, sector-by-sector -sector backup. And if you want to use a specific, like, admin user account to run the uh, backup, you could do that. Then you also have some uh, tools up here with some additional options. You can see that they're locked for a lot of them. You know, check the image, create emergency disk, uh, check your logs, and so on. Okay, so we're not going to schedule it right now. So I'm just showing you that so you could actually see how you do it. Okay, so now if we want to restore, you just pick the backup you want. And you could actually, you could right-click on it and do a run a backup right from there and rename it manage your images, check the images, delete it, open the location, which will just open, you know, that image file. So we're going to do recovery by right-clicking on it. So now, you notice on the right side, it just shows the folder. But if you want to see, like, the contents, you got to, you know, do it on the left side here so it shows. You could either do all the files in here, or you could uncheck the ones you want and just uh, restore certain files. And then you have the recover to original location. If you check this, it'll replace your file, so be aware of that. And if you do this, I think it's just going to rename, you know, put something at the end so you'll have duplicates. Or you could recover to a um, other location. 
So we'll try this option here. So let's go make a folder here. So we're going to recover our backup to a different folder, not the original location. And then we'll just click on Proceed. Okay, so that's done. So we could go to that folder here, Restored, and it just kind of puts the same path. And then there's our pictures that we got from the uh, backup. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. So it's a good way just to back up your files from your computer to, a, you know, most likely most people are going to do like a, a external hard drive and that kind of thing. And it's easy to schedule and it works fairly well. And like I said, if you buy the more advanced version, you get the extra options. So I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can go ahead and download and try it out. And if it works for the free version, fine. But if you need the extra additions, you could upgrade by clicking on there. I think it might be a monthly thing, which I don't really like because you shouldn't have to pay a monthly fee to subscription for your backup software, but I guess that'll get you the updates as well, so it's up to you. All right, so give it a shot and see what you think. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.